Hello and welcome to Scientifically Speaking. Today we are at Suspicious Observers Channel uh, for a piece of uh, news about a horned comet that is coming in at a steep northern angle towards the sun. And because of this, they believe, that is why it has the horn shape. So we're going to have a listen to suspicious observers here and see what they have to say about this comet and see if I've ever done anything similar with a ferro cell. Here we go. Is making headlines for its strange appearance. Comet 12P Pons Brooks is north of the solar system heading down for a close approach. So coming from the north position, heading down for a close approach. Cutting between the orbits of Earth and Venus, there is no chance of impact, but its latest images show horn-shaped tail features, and it will be a naked eye comet just a few days before the 2024 eclipse in April of next year. So, there is a horned comet coming from the north above and coming down at a steep angle. Now let's go to one of my videos, which is six years old, where I talk about uh, the fabled planet Nibiru and... Uh, what this horned planet uh, mythology theory is and uh, I show it on a magnet and I describe where it's coming from so let's have a listen what it is so basically I'd like you know somebody else to latch onto that really um, because it's something to do with me moving it I've moved it down um, I didn't move it up so I don't know what happens maybe somebody else could check that but basically something changed with the uh, electromagnetic picture we saw when I moved it into an area of darkness so that light was only coming in at a very high angle and then it showed up so is does that mean this supposed rogue planet let's just say I'm not saying it's real but if it was real does that mean it's coming from a massively steep angle towards the Sun and that's why we can't see it all I know is that I've just shown that if you put light through something that will give off an electromagnetic signal that can be seen at a steep angle you will get a different picture so I don't I'm, see I'm not sure what it means but it means it's a massive inclination to the Sun almost vertically coming in so that's that's all I can tell you about that I think it's pretty good that from understanding how a magnet works in light something can be visible and something can be not visible all right that's me finish my waffling my name is Lee I follow the Christ Jesus saw all this in visions in 2014 for three weeks day and night been writing it down and putting it on video for the last three years so there we go I mean people can sit there and say oh what does that even mean Lee well it means that the information that God gave me in visions in 2014 I applied it to every single thing I came into contact with. And when I came into contact with magnets and ferro cells, this is the kind of thing I did. Link to that video is in the description box, so you can go and have a look at the whole video. Uh, videos, you know, 10, 15 minutes long, I do believe. Um, but God allowed me to visualize an experiment, an easy observational science is what the ferro cell was. So by me experimenting with the ferro cell and seeing how light and magnetism react, to me it's no surprise, as soon as I saw that story today on Suspicious Observers, I immediately thought, what's the angle? And he said, that's coming in from the north directly downwards. And immediately I think about the video that I've made and I put it up. So all it means is, if we are going to get hit by a rogue planet and we, have, and we don't see it till, you know, a couple of days, it's coming in vertically because we're not going to see it. It just isn't going to show up. And when it does show up, it's going to show up as a horned object. So there you go. That's it, really. I just thought I'd put up more proof that the things God showed me allow me to scientifically work out what's happening in the universe from the macro to the outskirts of the edge to quantum. And I've made videos on all this. Thanks very much. My name is Lee. I follow the Christ. And I'm telling you all the things he uh, didn't tell me. I'm telling you all the things he showed me. Thanks very much. Bye.